Cultivate. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we are. There we go. Finally got Black Twin sitting down and Hawk on the opposite side of him. Looks like they're Pichu. figuring out their stage, perhaps. Really? Pichu into Ike. This ought to be interesting. Interesting. Because the problem for Pichu is you can die super early against Ike, and that big baguette sword is not easy to get yes. past. I mean, if he, if his tail was still as lethal as it was, I would have thought this might be a little bit easier for Pichu. Yeah, but unfortunately it's not so. Also, he's bigger than he was. Yeah. Definitely oh. got his size increased a few patches ago. Okay, so uh, you got to help me here because the tags on the characters are different completely from the tags up top. So yeah. which is which here? <laughs> so I believe Hawk should actually be Ike based on how he plays the doubles teams with his co-teammate Linus. So Black Twins should be the one on Pichu based on their okay. camera positions as well. Okay, okay. So actually maintaining pretty even here. And in fact, Pichu has less damage done to him right now than, Ho than, uh, than Hawk. The sad thing is they're both probably close to kill percent. <laughs> True. This is Pichu we're talking about, so you die pretty early. Yep. Ni nice Nair. I notice he's being very sparing with the electrical Ooh. attacks. And yep. I told you, kill percent. Point. Just needs that one Nair to confirm. And this is where Pichu doesn't want to be. Once Pichu is down a stock, it is very hard to come back. Yeah, because half your moves end up tacking on percent on yourself. So if you're not careful with the moves you're using, you can easily cut yourself back up to your opponent. I mean, Black Twins still playing it pretty well here, managing to not get hit a whole lot. Yep. Nice, fair. Oh, able to just sneak past that Thunder Jolt. He wanted to, to gimp it. Oh! oh. The tail, I guess, is still good enough at a high enough percentage. Yeah, especially when you get the re-grab like that. And he was right at the edge, too. There we go, down tilt into Nair, gonna get some damage. Oh, oh, okay, Black Twins is at kill percent here. Yeah, I mean, we saw the Nair confirm before. Oh, Thunder Jolt oh. saving him there, though. And this is... This is the, a time where we, we remember just how much of a glass cannon Pichu is. Yeah, and the big problem for Blackwoods right now is he's not able to use those Thunder Jolts to approach because Hawk has definitely been playing around those platforms a lot. I mean, uh, Hawk is, for someone who's so much bigger than Pichu, he's doing a great job of not getting hit by him at all. Yeah, I mean, like right there, you see the Thunder Jolt just go right underneath him, and that's usually a pressure starter for the Chews. So not being able to have that in your playbook right now is definitely making it difficult for Black Twins to approach Hawk right now. Black Twins is clearly still in it though. Yep, just needs to find a way oh. to get in. And Here not and not get hit by a tilt or smash. Yep. Just backing off once that shield to recharge for a little bit. And Black Twins playing very cautiously right now. Yep. Good shielding, good shielding. Oh, oh nice mix up there. Just landing with the F tilt, making oh. them think that another Nair's gonna be coming out. Black Twins is still alive at 105% as Pichu. Oh man, this. Oh, 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 there it is. For a split second, I thought he might survive. No, but that F tilt just too strong for Pichu to withstand. So Black Twins looking like it's gonna be on his last doctor. See what he can do to take this one off. Oh, wow, long pummel, pummel chain there. Yep, and I like that, just waiting for the air dodge, knows the thunder won't connect. With characters as short as Pichu, it can, you sometimes don't even realize your, your grabs. Yeah, I mean, some characters can actually have their grabs missed just because of how short they can make themselves. There we go, there is the, 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 thun, the thunder for the win. Yep, so now it's relatively even percent, but the challenge is Black Twins hasn't really been able to get a lot of those big combos because Hawk has been using these platforms really well. And every time so far, I mean, Black Twins oh, has won after losing a stock. But look at this combo, this juggling. Yep. Oh, nice. Gets the grab tech there, so not going to be grabbed by Black Twins. And Black Twins has actually managed to place Hawk in a slight disadvantage. This could change very quickly, too. Yep. Black Twins definitely doing a good job staying mobile. 
trying to get Hawk to throw out an aerial so he can punish it. Yeah, at this point, capitalizing on Pichu's speed and agility, that's that that's part of what, what would help him win this. Yep. Another aerial combo. Yeah, forces to jump out with oh. Thunder Jolt. See, I think we we could see a Thunder here soon. If he can if he can get in position right. Oh, here we go. This is good. Oh, that oh, oh, not able man. to punish the side B. Oh, wow. Nice parry. That could have been bad. Yep. So, Blackthorn's actually not quite at kill percent yet here. Nope. Let's get some more percentage on Hawk here. Keep having trouble getting him in position for the Thunder, though. Yeah, that's just good DI mix up from Hawk to keep himself alive. So, now here are both characters at kill percent. And That'll there it is. Thunder driving him down into the body, and there it is. Wow, that was a beautiful turnaround. Yeah, I mean, once he got that good combo tacking on that 50% at the beginning of that last stock, it definitely helped swing the momentum in his favor. And it feels like Hawk started to get a little bit stale with his attempts at the kill because I know Ike doesn't really have too much aside from Nair to confirm into kills, but earlier we saw him using the F tilt as a landing mix up as well to try and throw off Black Twin's shield timing. So maybe a little bit more of that could have helped, but that's just speculation at this point. So we'll see if there's any game plan change going into game two here. I, I'm excited for the second map because that was wow. And oh, so oh. We, we're just sticking with the guns. Yep, just stick sticking with it. For a split second there, it seemed like like uh, like Hawk thought about changing. Yeah, I know back in Smash 4, Hawk definitely had a lot of characters in his repertoire, but I think he's been trying to narrow it down for ultimate. Here we are in the second match of these winning quarterfinals, Hawk versus Black Twins. Yeah, here we go. Good combo start. Oh, not able to continue it on the platform there. Hawk just getting right out of range of that up tilt. Uh, Black Twins already doing better than he was uh, um, around this time in the previous match. Yep. Wow, nice job landing the Thunder Jolt during the upbeat. Oh, wow. I mean, that was an early kill, but Thunder at the ledge, you bet that'll work. Yeah, Hawk wanted to get back to stage, so he was not DIing away from that, and that's why I that was able to connect. Okay, so now, I mean, uh, Black Twins is a stock up, which that that's really, really where a Pichu needs and wants to be. And now he just keeps laying on the good aerial combos like he did last yep. time. Yeah, and the big problem is Hawk can't really rely on the platform game as much that he was using in game one here because now that he's in stock behind, he has to be the one trying to make the moves, figuring out how to get in here. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the same time, though, I mean, Black Twins, he can't breathe too much because he's Pichu, so he can he yep. could die right now. Yep. And Black Twin seems to be aware of it. He's, he's not uh, he's not getting too cheesy here. Yeah. Oh, nice nice tilt uh, off the side B. Yeah, that was good spacing to be able to punish that. No. Oh, does not get the spike down with the cloud, so Hawk gonna live a little, little bit longer here. Mm. Still, I mean, Hawk is clearly about to lose his second stock here. See, even if Black Twins loses loses one now, I mean this is still very much in, in his corner for the moment. And, oh, oh, spiked him, but into the ground. Yeah, and it looks like Hawk, or Black Ooh. Twins might be out of the nair to up air range. But now that the rage is gone, might confirm. So we'll see what happens here. So now, Black Twins is two stock up. This yep. is looking pretty good. Nice aerial combo. Interesting, mixing it up with the down air. Well, here we go. A lot of damage coming out from Black Twins, keeping this combo going for a long time. It's not often that I personally have seen a Pichu be two stock up against anybody. So this is this is cool. Yeah. Well, there we go. Getting a good trade there. So Hawk finally able to take the first stock off of Black Twins. Problem is, he's near the end of his third stock. Oh, yeah. Nice job spiking him with the down air there. I mean, even with this being Pichu, this is still an uphill battle. Yep. But I mean, Hawk could do it if he lands, oh. if he lands like just two or three good hits. Yep. And uh, Hawk clearly trying to avoid the thunder. There we go catching the landing on the platform. 
Almost pulls him up there with the Nair for the kill, but not enough percent on Black Twins for Hawk to find it. Just keep just keeping him off stage, keeping him on the defensive. That's what. Yep. Oh, there wow. we go. Full Rage Ike gonna seal off that stock. And oh, if right. he can get Black Twins up the. Or I said maybe the, the, the just just a fair. Yep. I mean, at 170 percent, yeah, that that will do. Yep. He's starting to do a good job there of bringing it back, but the problem was he was at too high of a percent to be able to make a single mistake. Yes. And then he made one. Yep. But, 